About what about uh, when spacecraft are meant to land uh, there and not crash or um, burn up? Well, let's uh, think back at the Viking missions of Mars to the year 19 in the 1970s. Even NASA baked the whole landers, yeah, um, in an oven, literally for 112 degrees Celsius for 30 hours. E yeah, even the electronics were built to survive that heat, and it was meant to kill off any microorganisms that might be present on the space probe. Nowadays, spacecraft are built in ultra clean rooms, so engineers have to wear full body suits and not to protect themselves, but to keep uh, their bacteria from getting on the equipment. Though, for example, the Mars rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance, they were not fully sterilized, that they're too complicated uh, for that, uh, but they were still rigorously cleaned. Um, and NASA even took uh, samples from, from the space probes to check uh, what microbes might be still um, on, on, on them. So that way, if anything uh, kind of weird shows up on Mars, uh, then at least we can trace it back from where it came from. So what's my take of uh, the whole situation? Well, if we are ever going to set up a permanent uh, base on another planet, let's say Mars, um, well, then contamination is going to happen. Yeah, it's, it's inevitable because our bodies carry more microbial cells than we have uh, human body cells. Yeah, so essentially we humans are already walking ecosystems. And honestly, I mean, it might even be a good thing to reintroduce, not reintroduce, but to actually bring along our mic microorganisms. Because if we want to make Mars uh, livable, then we need the microorganisms because they're essential for breaking down waste, for recycling nutrients and for kind of, yeah, laying the foundation of an ecosystem.